In this lesson, we will discuss the control signals of the address generator. So the contents of the PC, they have to be incremented by the length of the instruction. So suppose if we are assuming 4, so it has to be incremented to point to the next instruction. So in that case, both these values from the program counter and 4 will be selected by this multiplexer and sent to the adder. So the selection of the input of this multiplexer INC depends upon this INC select. This will help decide whether this 4 has to be chosen to be added to the program counter or some immediate value which specifies a branch offset in case it was a branch instruction that has to be added. So depending upon which input is selected by this mux in incrementer by this signal that addition will be done and it will be sent back to the program counter. The, the value that is loaded into the program counter is decided by the PC select of this mux PC. So either the address of the next instruction which has been computed by adding 4 or the address of the target instruction in case a branch offset has been added either this will go to the PC or in case there is a call to the subroutine then the value coming from the register file interstage register RA that will be sent to the PC. So this will happen only if there is a call to a subroutine. This value will be put into the program counter. Before putting this value into the program counter, the contents of the program counter will be stored into an interstage register which is PC temp. Once these contents have been stored in PC temp, PC select will be enabled and RA will be sent to PC. This is the address of the subroutine. Also, in the next stage, this contents of the return address will be sent to mux y to be stored as the return address and put into the register file. So when the subroutine returns to the calling program, this return address will be retrieved. So this address which is stored into the register file will be done in stage 5 till that time it is available with PC temp. 